And the goal with the phone is to make that experience delightful and easy and simple and have the, you know, the user experience of like Google Pay. Or something. In this video, I'm going to outline the reason why Solana's upcoming phone, the Solana Saga, is going to change the game for crypto phones. First off, there's a great need for a crypto phone because there is currently no phone available that is able to store your crypto keys inside your phone, much like a hardware wallet, such as Trezor. This is a critical feature because we want our crypto to be safe, secured, and stored offline as it is with a traditional hardware wallet. But no phone has implemented that yet and is able to use your crypto as payment, much like you would with your Google Pay, Apple Pay, or Samsung Pay with your phone. This phone does have compatibility with the Solana Phantom Wallet and Soulflare Wallet. Listen to Solana founder Anatoly Yakovenko explain the need for this phone. So phones are the everyday device that you use. You know, every, everybody has one. You probably spend more time on your phone than on anything else. And the ex most important part about crypto in these networks is self-custody. And it's a really complicated piece because it involves cryptography. So not a lot of people understand it. Not a lot of people actually use uh, you know, wallets like Phantom, like MetaMask around the world. And the goal with the phone is to make that experience delightful and easy and simple and have the, you know, the user experience of like Google Pay or something like that. Like Anatoly mentioned in the video, people are basically glued to their phones all day. And since crypto usually has not become entirely mainstream, there needs to be an interface between the blockchain and a secure device that people can use. People are using their phones more than anything nowadays to make payments do and do virtually everything online. All of those services that we use currently will be placed on a decentralized network and the Solana phone will pioneer a simple and easy to use way of paying, sending and receiving NFTs and any other type of payment as well as using any other kind of application. Now this interview was done months ago and even then there was a hinting about Helium migrating to Solana. Even though it is not mentioned in the following video, I'm surprised that this question was asked. As you may or may not know from my previous videos, Helium is going to be migrating over to the Solano network on April 18th. Helium has also been trying to do something simpler, similar with wireless for years, but you know they're just now starting a 5G pilot. They have a deal with Dish. What does Solana think it can do better here? Are you looking for corporate wireless deals along those lines? I mean, I would love to take a Helium 5G SIM card and plug it into Saga. That would be that would be amazing. That means this is a crypto phone running on a decentralized 5G network. What this means for the Solana Saga phone is that it will not only be able to handle your payments and NFTs, but also be your interface to the Internet of Things, or as it's now referred to as DPIN, or Decentralized Physical Interface Network. James from Invest Answers recently did a segment on this in one of his live videos. Now. Now, in the next segment, Anatoly also breaks down why having a dedicated Solana app store is so important for this crypto space because, frankly, the Web2 app stores currently, such as Google Play and the, and the Apple App Store, is hindering the adoption and usage of Web3 applications because of, because of censorship and long processing times. This is why it's important for the phone not only to have a dedicated hardware wallet for your keys but also to integrate it with the web3 decentralized app store i think the key part to adoption is get, is making that experience of cryptography simpler for users it's just such a complicated thing and one of the biggest challenges even is even for web developers like web3 developers they can't build true web3 applications for the big app stores so part of the solana mobile stack is a developer-friendly app store that doesn't have extractive fees. And that's a huge selling point for a lot of devs. Now a little bit on the phone's hardware specs. You can expect the top of the line Snapdragon processor 8 Plus Gen 1, an Android 13 OS, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of flash storage with uh, an upgradable SD card slot, micro SD card slot, a 6.67 AMOLED full HD screen with a with a 120 hertz display, 4100 milliamp hour battery, a dual camera setup on the back with a 50 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 16 megapixel camera on the back. It is a 5G compatible phone, 
and the manufacturer of the phone is said to be the same people who brought you the essential phone if you remember that phone the essential phone was built and functioned pretty well so i expect the same of this phone I believe this phone will do well, but if it even captures just 1% of the current total number of users of smartphones, it could mean big things for Solana. The total number of smartphone users is currently at 6.84 billion users. At 1% of that total amount, that would be 60 million users. And if each person bought just 10 Solana tokens at 20 bucks per token, which is the current price, that would put another $13.7 billion on the market cap of Solana, which would have it overtake XRP at number six on coin market cap. I think this is a very possible scenario, especially with no other crypto phone on the market. Solana basically has a monopoly on this product. If you guys are interested in the Solana Saga phone, it is open for pre-orders in the US and a couple more countries for $100 initial payment and phone's full price is a thousand bucks. If you're investing, make sure you properly know how to stake in custody the token with your own hardware wallet from Ledger. And if you are interested in using Ledger to self-custody your token, with my referral link in the description below and pinned comment below, you'll get $10 back in Bitcoin when you make a purchase of a Ledger hardware wallet. But hey, if you're new here, I teach you how to become a Solana blockchain master. From how to code Solana dApps, smart contracts, and NFTs, to how to trade and custody the Solana token. Go to solanarust.com for your free guide on how to create your own Solana NFT for sale. So you too can become a Solana millionaire and escape the matrix.